Bigger is not better. Popular is not right always. There's a lot of preconceived notions that you have to have or you have to do, and you don't get anywhere following the crowd, right? My name's Matt Barnard. I'm living in Foodsland, Illinois. My brother and my dad and I and our wives, we uh, own Barnard Farms Partnership, cover about five counties around this area. As we wanted to grow, you have two choices, right? You either rent from your neighbor or somebody gives you some ground. Well, in our area, that's not really viable. So what we did was go out and uh, recruit a bunch of investors. We have them from Oregon to Texas down to New York. So just like somebody would get a statement of their 401k, you know, yearly as summary, we do the same thing for their farm asset. We've grown our farm to where it's at and uh, our size wise, we feel fairly comfortable where we're at right now. We really look at dollars per acre versus bushels per acre. So sometimes you can make more money raising 200 bushel corn than you can at 240 or 260. Um, it's kind of the whole, uh, you know, money ball movie thing phenomenon, you know, of how they they built the Oakland A's, you know, the idea of, you know, how do you build a profitable team in a small franchise? Well, you don't go out and buy the biggest players, you know, you, you go out and you see, you try to find that guy that is always hit plus 15 on average. And that's what we try to do with our farming operation. And so we were able to buy a brand new white uh, 9824VE, completely tricked out from the factory precision wise for about the same money that we would take on an existing planter and convert it. You know, as we started to think about how we were gonna build something, um, it just made sense to, to pull the trigger on a fin. And when we put them together, we really felt like we had the Cadillac type opportunity um, in the industry. And to be honest with you, the spring of 2019, without going to a high speed planter and a planter that could pull it 10 mile an hour, we wouldn't have felt as good about it at the end of the day. Um, with the planter and with a the, with the fin tractor at the end of the day, you know, we were comfortable working those hours. It didn't let us down. Our stands were amazing. And I think the, one of the things you're seeing a lot of the competitors of the event that are trying to up and make higher horsepower front wheel assist, all they're doing is cranking up the pumps and adding some new features. And you know, the, the, the engine hasn't changed. They're not running at 13 or 1200 RPMs, you know. You don't realize how much less fuel you run at the end of the day running at 1300 RPMs versus 2200 RPMs. But we have the, the confidence especially looking at what other, um, some of the other tractors that are out there on the marketplace that the fit longevity wise is gonna get us where, where we need to be.